えっと、体の外側は。ほうほう。なるほど、なるほど。なんということでしょう。でも、スライムだよな。ああ。Now, once you have your water in your bowl, remove it just to make sure you can measure it out properly so this way you know how much agar you're going to need. Hey, pay attention. Oh, I was watching, I was watching the camera. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't, damn it, Rachel. After re measuring your water after the catastrophe we just had with our water fight, I was able to measure out one and a half liters worth of water and making sure I clean up all of my mess before I continue on. Now, into every 500 milliliters worth of water, I'm adding in around two drops worth of blue food coloring. Your mileage will vary depending on the food coloring you need. Next, I am measuring out 10 grams worth of granulated sugar for every 500 milliliters worth of water. So, in my case, I needed 30 grams worth of sugar. Next, I need one gram of agar for every 500 milliliters worth of water. This is super important. Remember, you need one gram for every 500 milliliters. I initially only measured out a half a gram for every 500 milliliters, and you're going to see the results of that action. Make sure you swirl up the water just a touch so that way all of the sugar comes up with the water when you pour it into your small sauce pot, making sure that all of it is fully combined. Bring this over to the stove and bring this to a nice rolling boil so that way all of the sugar is fully dissolved. I like to use the immersion blender to try to break up that gel food coloring I had used, and I'd realized that the gel food coloring just wasn't enough, so I grabbed some regular liquid blue food coloring and added a few drops to that to get that really nice blue. You really want it to look like, you know, like blue Gatorade. Once you have that combined, add in your one and a half gram. Grams worth of agar, which is the incorrect amount, which you're going to see in just a little bit. Make sure you blend this completely with your immersion blender or a stand up blender and bring it to a boil for around four minutes. The agar does need heat to activate, so make sure you do bring it to that boil. Place this into your bowl of choice, which should be the bowl that you measured out initially, so this way it's around the same amount of liquid. Make sure that when you place this into your bowl, it is a heat proof bowl, and let this hang out for around an hour at room temperature, so that way you're not placing a hot bowl of liquid directly into the fridge. Just back away. Just back away and leave it alone for around an hour. Now, I did take a small amount of my initial mixture and threw it in the freezer to try to make it cool down faster, and that's when I had realized I didn't measure out my agar correctly. So, once again, I threw all of my liquid back into the pot and added in the additional one and a half grams worth of agar agar, bringing the total amount to three grams for 1500 milliliters worth of liquid. I brought that back over to the stove, reheated it, placed it back into my bowl, backed away for one hour one more time. And after I had let it cool down, I threw this into the fridge. But before you put it in the fridge, make sure you open up the door and there is a spot in your fridge, not like this guy. And then place it into your fridge to cool down for around three to four hours or preferably overnight. After letting it cool down overnight, grab yourself your favoritist plate and we're going to do the flip de doo after we appreciate the opai jiggle. Place the plate right on top of the bowl, give it a nice flip, making sure that the. It didn't. It didn't come out. It's stuck. It's stuck. How do we do this? Paul, what are we. Are you just gonna. Stop. Oh. Just aggressively shake the mold so that way it releases itself onto the plate. And there it is. Rimiru's body, in a way. It's nice. It's shiny. It's beautiful. It has a jiggle to it, unlike most jiggles you will find in food. But there is a slight imperfection on the backside, and that's probably from not resting properly to regain all of your magical power. Now, to make Rimiru look as fancy as possible, I do have some luster dust. This is blue luster dust, which is basically edible glitter. Really? You just decided to dump it and now you're breathing heavily on it? I will admit, blowing the luster dust on top of the mold made me feel like Bradley Cooper from Burnt, which is one of my favorite cooking movies of all time. And also, blowing luster dust on top of this will make it so that there is blue luster dust all over everything, so make sure you do clean it up immediately and then appreciate. How beautiful this Rimiru mold looks from Slime. Season two soon? There it is, guys, our recreation of Slime. This is a raindrop cake. This is actually kind of common, I believe, in Japan. I remember seeing a couple of videos on it, and、uh, I've never tried making one of these before. They're really neat to make. The agar holds up really well. I think one of the things I want to do next is try to put something in the center, maybe some fruit. 
some strawberries, some berries, and just kind of go all in with this method because this is really, really fun. Look at the, look at the opi. Look at it. The only thing that's left to do is to try Rimiru. Don't, don't stop. I don't want to, but I have to. Oh, ooh, it's super soft. This is actually a lot softer than gelatin. Look at how easily it breaks apart. Show them the goods. Look at this. Look at it. Cheers. Tastes like sweet tap water because I used tap water instead of filtered water. That is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Okay, this isn't good, but I still think you should try making your own version of a raindrop cake with whatever flavors you want. Use your favorite juices, you know, have some fun with it. Let me know if you guys are gonna try to make your own raindrop cake. If you wanna pick up agar, there is a link down below to Amazon. My name is Chef PK, get subscribed. Remember, keep playing with your food. All right, I'm just gonna, I guess I can hydrate with this. Lucian, come on, come on. Let's go get hydrated. Come on, buddy. You don't wanna join me for hydration? This is awkward.